This is a quick video of how to um, clean and maintain your brushless motors for your quadcopters, helicopters, airplanes, or whatever you use it for. Um, you're going to need motor oil, regular motor oil, lightweight. That's a uh, 10W40 or lighter than that would work better. Um, WD40. I ran out of WD-40, so I just used my gun cleaner as, uh, you know. Anyways, uh, to start, you want to take off the stopper on the bottom of the motor. That's what holds the, the motors together, the top part, which is the bell, and the bottom part, where the windings are. You just unscrew that and take that off. Now, other motors don't have that O-ring type stopper with the set screws on it. Um, other motors have a C-clip right on there okay, to hold that bearing down. Now when you're taking out that C-clip, be careful, you don't want to snap it because then it wouldn't be good. Anyways, um, take apart the motor, just pull the bottom part out. It's going to be a little snug because you have magnets in there holding it. And there you go. And as you can see, the top bearing right there just take that out, set it aside, and then I take out the bottom bearing. Oh, there you go. Alright. Now what I do with these two bearings is I soak them in, uh, in the motor oil. You know, just for about 10-15 minutes. Just take a cap full of motor oil and just put the bearings in there. Next, I run this, these two parts in hot water under the faucet for a few minutes. You want to flush all that gunk out, you know, that, that's in there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Just take a quick look. That's already have some, you know, wear and tear right there. And after you get done washing it off, just, you know, let it dry up, put some fan over it, that way it dries faster. And once it's dried up, what I do is I take a WD-40 and I just soak this part, the whole thing, with WD-40. What that does is, you know, whatever moisture that's still in there, it pushes it out with a WD-40. And, you know, it keeps other moisture from coming in. Once that's done, you just set that aside, tap out the excess, you know, WD-40 that's in there, and let it run out. Give it about 10 minutes or so. And once that, that's done, what I do is I, you know, start putting, putting it back together. Take your bearings and, you know, make sure this has been soaking for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Put your top bearing back in. bottom bearing and what I normally do also is I, I'll take some little motor oil and I'll just you know put some on the shaft coat the shaft lube the shaft <laughs> and then put it back together and there you go Screw the back end, the stopper, or C-clip. Just be careful if you have a C-clip one. Don't snap it. Tighten it back down. And you're good to go. And this is how I do it anyway. And uh, I could actually tell the difference after. Motor runs smoother, a lot quieter, less vibrations. That's what I do because uh, a lot of my motors, they're pretty banged up and old, so. You do this every now and then, you know, you get a little bit more life out of them. And if you're doing FPV, you know, you're not going to have that jello on your GoPro. Because of the vibrations. Well, it'll help anyway. Alright. This is how I do it. Motor oil. WD-40. Hot water.
Bye.